about passing an exam, uh, who were about 13 or 14 years old, uh, and uh, there was um, uh, a drawing session. So Paul was in a separate classroom, I was in another one to make sure that there couldn't be any uh, connection between us. And uh, the subject that was given to us was just imagine, as, a, as a, the theme of the, of the task, it was uh, you have to draw a, a subject for a, a scarf, uh, imagine anything you want that could be the decoration for that scarf. So what? I chose this uh, subject because there was there were other subjects. So I did something, and uh, after the after the exam, when uh, we went out, uh, so I went back to Paul and asking, uh, "What did you do yourself for the for the exam?" And Paul told me, "Well, I just chose the the subject about the score. Oh, that you're right. I, I chose the same thing." But the thing is that Paul drew a horse uh, jumping a, a fence, and, when, and I did exactly the same image of a black, of a white horse, and it was also a white horse jumping a fence. So it was already very troubling, and uh, because we could draw anything, but we decided in a separate time, in a separate place, to draw the same thing. It was not only a horse. It was a horse jumping a fence. It was mm. a white horse jumping a fence. Amazing. And the scarf? How was the scarf? Well, it was just, you have just uh, to draw a uh, just a Imagine subject. a square scarf, a blank one, you have to imagine a okay. central figure. Okay, okay. Central figure. Just like Hermes, actually. Mm. 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 Hermes, the subject is always about horse. You know. Oh, that's right. <laughs> That was one thing, and Paul, you have another story. Yeah, I was uh, saying, uh, very often we had this kind of experiences uh, during our, our dreams, during night time, when we were not conscious. So I remember this time, this one, we were older, we were about, I don't know, 28 or 29 years old, and we were uh, spending the weekend uh, in a house countryside with our parents and I remember that day after uh, a troubled night because I had a terrible nightmare. You were already grown up. Huh? Yeah, we were grown up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I was having my breakfast and Gaetan is just coming in, joining in and say, oh my god, I did a, a nightmare. I said, oh, that's real, me too. And uh, Gaetan began to explain what was his nightmare. And more and more he was saying, more and more I was listening and stopping eating because what he was saying was exactly what I dreamed of. Except that, it's not that we did exactly the same dream, but I witnessed, for example, so the, what was the dream? Gaetan was telling me, well, that was terrible because this, there was this old witch, old woman, stabbing me, stabbing me with a knife and I was almost dying. And I said, oh, that's horrible because I dream exactly of that. I was uh, seeing this old witch stabbing you with a knife. So that was really, really troubling. It was, it was uh, being in the same, uh, sharing the si same situation. Yeah. Me in my role and Paul in his uh, yeah. wit witnessing uh, the situation. Do you want to say this uh, when we have... Okay, so... so uh, uh, coming back from uh, from this house, this country house, uh, uh, back into the city, I was driving in my car. I was with my wife, uh, and uh, at certain point, while I was driving, uh, I had a little bit of uh, how could I put that? Uh, a malaise. Uh, I had. Uh, I was. I didn't feel too well. It was something troubling. I didn't feel well at all for a few seconds. At the point, I was thinking just to stop. Just to pull over and just to recover and put myself together. But as soon as I was thinking to stop, everything went back to normal, so I didn't have to stop. So I just carried on on my on my way back home. I didn't even mention that to my wife. It was just something very fast, just lasting a few seconds, let's say five, six seconds. As soon as as it came, it disappeared. So it was okay. Just didn't pay any attention more than that. Uh, and when I called Paul later, or the day after, I don't remember, asking if everything 
what's all right from this side before the yes we are all back uh, home no problem just the thing is something weird happened to me fortunately it happened before i just had a, a, i didn't feel too well while i was driving actually so he told me that he just felt the same way i felt i felt myself while i was driving he was on his way he was uh, going to and I guess I wouldn't swear, but I, I guess it was. It must have been speaking of synchronicity. It must have been at the, at the probably the exact time. At the same oh yes, time, so the, oh probably. no, no doubt because we were just what uh, an hour and a half away from our place, and it was not uh, because we we uh, ate too much or no, no, you know, it was, out out of, it was just well. out of the blue, uh, just uh, something weird. You, know, you have many weird. stories like that. But we don't tell these stories too often because of it's always weird to say this kind of story because the other mm -hmm. doesn't like to hear this kind of stuff. But speaking of synchronicity, so that's why I'm thinking always of the uh, experiences. Mm -hmm. Because still today I'm still thinking of that. I'm the first one to be amazed by, by that because it's too And we cannot explain. Mm -hmm. If we remember that, it's just because uh, it troubles us as much as it trouble anyone who could hear our story because it's, it's not something that we can explain it's not something that uh, I would like someone to explain to you yes, <laughs> yes, yes. and uh, I'm sure I'm sure that there's more than more stories than that it's just that because we don't tell each other every day what we do what we don't do and uh, uh, the dream we had and uh, so, but I'm sure that it's on still a more happened. simple way, uh, still today, when we have a, a meeting together, we arrive at exactly the same time, mm -hmm. we are on the same subway, or mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's really mm -hmm. small, smaller things. For example, we have exactly the same time in, in my train. Of course, you could tell me, well, you are uh, twin brothers, you've been educated the same way. You have the same attraction, the same. Uh, you have, uh, of course, more than affinities. You do the same thing. You are both artists. We you work create. Together. We mm. do work together. That creates certainly. It's, it's certainly help. You know. But at the end of the day, you can some. You cannot explain that uh, rationally. Can you talk about the, the creativity process, the creation process? In the creation process, uh, have you noticed phenomenons of synchronicity when you create a character? Or okay, so what I can say is that because we we always work together, and still today we work together, along the years we decided each of us to be specialized in different things in a way to that our work was complementary, completing, uh, completing the other yeah. one. So that's why. I made a specialty of mine to be uh, animator, to, 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 to give movement to my characters and get on more to be the background artist, to be artist in direction, in a way that we could, instead of both doing the, the same thing. But today it's still true that uh, we work on the same piece of paper and at the end everybody thinks that it's been done only by one man. Because one hand, yes. One hand, <laughs> because I don't know, maybe it's so now I don't know if it's really in our blood or if it's just the experience working together. Or sometimes, uh, sometimes, for example, because we are uh, making illustration for a an art gallery and sometimes they are asking some subject, some historical subject. So Paul on his side uh, do a few sketches, preparing, thinking about the composition, how it's going to be, uh, the characters, uh, how to light them, and, and I do my own sketches at my place, and so, and you say, okay, I'm ready to show you what I did. Paul say, yes, I'm ready to. So we meet and we sh we show each other what we do, and often, very often, the the vision is the same. You I have mean, the same composition. The, the same, same composition. kind of composition. Mm -hmm. I say, oh, it's funny. You you did. I did exactly the same way. Yes, with just few. Uh, a change is few uh, differences. Mm -hmm. So, but, but, but that again, might be a cultural thing. Yeah, because uh, yeah, certainly. I don't nonetheless, know. nonetheless, there is still. Uh, we can still.
call that synchronicity. Some people even say, oh, I don't like these two guys, they always agree together. <laughs> Often people say when they, when they know that uh, we are working together on the same subject, on the same piece of movie, on the same movie, same uh, big illustration for me. But guys, you must you must fight sometimes. How do you do you agree when you uh, when you disagree? How do you fight? Do you say we just said well, sorry, we never disagree. I mean, so we might have a different point of view, but disagreement certainly not. Yes, different point of view, but we share. For example, if I do something, if I make a drawing, and Paul comes and criticizes my drawing, I know that his criticism, it's big. It's be certainly because I missed something. That is, uh, criticism is certainly valid, something I didn't see. And if I listen to him, often, yes, you're right, I didn't see that. You know what I mean? So, uh, which is again, uh, which is a, a strength in life. Because uh, what I don't see, he sees it. What he doesn't see, mm. I can see it. Is it the same in, in business too? When you make business, you have a. When you negotiate with people, you see the same thing, you have the same perception? Oh yes, we have the same perception of the people, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. We totally agree on the nature of the people we meet. Mm -hmm. We never, you know... Now, in terms of business, we might say, mm, remember, uh, for sometimes we, uh, I was thinking, oh, I wouldn't like to do it, I don't have a thing with that. And the other said, well, I think we should. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should. So then we discuss. Uh, and we always come to an agreement. Yeah, no, sometimes we are normal. <laughs> <laughs>